What is good guys and welcome to another tutorial. So back to what I was saying. Yes guys, I am finally back with a new tutorial. Today's video is gonna revolve around neon portraits. You guys know that's probably my favorite thing by now. Uh, but anyways, this is another low lit uh, tutorial. This one was really fun. Uh, me and the homie Charmaine shot this in front of the Regal Theater. I would seen this done previously and I thought I'd take a jab at it. And uh, it actually turned out really dope. So I'm gonna show you guys how I took the photo from this to this. Now let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom. All right guys, now in Lightroom, as you can see, the image, the raw image is dark as hell. Uh, we shot this at Regal Cinemas, it was like 10 p.m. at night, and as you can see, the only lights there lighting her up are the Regal Cinemas neon signs. There was literally no signs or lights behind her lighting her up. Uh, we had a couple street lights, but it still wasn't bright enough. Um, and obviously, I want to keep uh, the highlights there, so I didn't want to overexpose the image at all uh, to keep her in focus or uh, to keep her lit. So what I ended up doing was underexposing by uh, a lot, but to the point where my focus peaking was still uh, in her eye area, and I had that on focus, so I knew she was pretty much in focus. Um, so I had to kind of compensate with this shot. Uh, since it was really low light, but like I said, I'm gonna change that and you guys are gonna see exactly how I edited this photo But let's go ahead and get into it So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring up the shadows obviously um, If you guys have seen my editing tutorials, we're pretty much gonna go through the same exact process So step by step gonna show you guys exactly how I did it. Let's do it um, so bring up the shadows guys and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is bring up the exposure by a little bit. We won't overexpose it. We're, we're definitely gonna bring the exposure down later on, but let's just get these settings right for now. Uh, let's go ahead and add some contrast. We'll add about plus 10. Let's go ahead and drop the highlights already. We're gonna bring that all the way down. Don't worry, uh, the lights are gonna be popping a lot more. Um, let's go bring, let's bring down the blacks just a tiny bit. Probably like negative 15 for now uh, let's go ahead and bring up the clarity to about plus 20 uh, vibrance plus 20 as well let's go ahead and bring down the saturation by negative 10 and like I said guys these are pretty much the same settings I've been using um, okay so what we'll do is We'll bring the tone curve up just a little bit to give off that slightly faded look. Um, if you guys know me, I don't like the faded look as much, uh, but like just bringing it up a little bit. All right, now let's start. Uh, let's start playing around with colors. Let's bring up the hue of the red primary to maybe around 70. Drop the blues about negative 70 as well. Once we adjust this, the colors, the blue and pink should come in a little bit more. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what we wanna go ahead and do is make these lights pop a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and to our tint. We're gonna bring up the pinks and that'll make the colors come in a lot. You guys like that? The lights are literally popping now. Um, and as you can see, when we brought the uh, tint up, you can see all this noise right here. We are gonna fix that, don't worry. Um, okay, so let's start Let's start uh, playing around with like the hue and saturation uh, because these colors are a little bit too much. Um, let's drop the orange down a little bit, make it a little bit red. We'll bring the red up now, let's see. I think this all depends on how you guys want to play with your lights. Um, if you like your neons a little bit more red, a little bit orange, you can really just play around with that. For now, I'll keep it right here around the orange. And I want to make this blue a little bit more like aqua, so we're going to bring it right there. Let's bring this a little bit, the actual aqua color a little bit more. Okay, 
let's go ahead and bring the saturation of the orange down a little bit so we can bring her skin tone a little we can make her skin tone look a little bit more natural maybe bring the reds down as well not by much though I still want to keep the reds popping a little bit but definitely bring the oranges down all right I think we are good so far um, okay, with split toning, I tend to keep my hues between like the blue and purple like almost all the time. Sometimes I'll either have it with the yellow uh, or the shadows with yellow as well, but it kind of depends on the image. For this, I think what we will do is we will just keep both of them around the blues to keep the lights popping a little bit more. Yeah, I like how that looks. Um, it seemed like it killed off the saturation of the orange a little bit, so maybe we'll bring that up a little bit more. Give her skin tone. Don't make the lights pop a little bit more. Alright, I think that's good for now, guys. Okay, so this, this is what I'm talking about. This is where we're going to clean up the image a little bit more. Um, so the sharpening, I'm going to set it at 150. We're going to blast that thing all the way. Now, this is where everything changes. Uh, go ahead and bring the noise reduction, blast the noise reduction up a little bit. Look at that, guys. Literally cleared up all that noise right there. As you can tell, her face, the skin, looks a little bit fake. Um, but Honestly, that's what you have to compensate for when you shoot low light and especially when you're trying to not overexpose it. Uh, if, if I was overexposing the shot, I'm definitely going to have a lot more noise and it's going to be hard, a lot harder to clean up. So underexposing is always ideal, especially shooting in lower light. Um, but that's just from my experience. Maybe some of you guys have different experiences uh, than I do. Um, but this is from my experience. Okay, so we'll play with... A little vignetting right here. I tend to keep it around negative 15. That's just the vibe I like right there. Okay, uh, so her skin, it's looking a little too orange. Let's go ahead and adjust it. The orange right there. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's see. We'll make the red stand out a little bit more. Kind of gotta really compensate for that uh, skin tone uh, okay honestly guys it was easy as that um, editing this photo that's all you really got to do um, okay so next step what I'm gonna do and as you guys can see when I zoomed in you could see a lot more noise that's just another thing you got to comp uh, kind of compensate for don't worry about it too much because when you're viewing this on Instagram or whatever you're rarely going to see any of that uh, grain in there um, so the next thing I did was I wanted to make her eyes pop a little bit more you could definitely see it right there but I want to have the white part of her eyes just stand out a bit more so let's go ahead and whiten that part teeth whitening that's what I use Let's go ahead and just paint around the area right there. Okay. And this is all up to you guys, uh, how you want to edit your photos. I This is what I'll, I usually always use when I'm um, trying to make those eyes pop a little bit more. It's up to you how you guys... You guys can also do this in Photoshop, but um, I find it easier in Lightroom. Alright, so I'm going to make the white stand out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is bring the slider to the right. And let's go ahead and zoom out because it'll be easier to tell. Okay, so the white is popping a lot more. I think we'll probably keep it at about 50. I think that's good enough. Um... I don't think I'm gonna do too much skin cleaning on here, uh, smoothing the skin out just because that noise reduction pretty much uh, smoothed the skin out by a lot. Uh, so we'll leave it as is. Um, this was really an easy photo to edit. Some people probably think it's really hard, but it's honestly pretty easy. Uh, just follow these steps that I did. 
Um, maybe let's see if we bring down the exposure by a little bit. Yeah, honestly, bringing down the exposure. Um, honestly, I like how this image turned out already. Uh, it's definitely not my original edit. The original edit, I think, looked a little bit better than this one, but I was, I'm just showing you guys exa exactly the process I went through to get uh, this low light image to pop a little bit more. Uh, but that's honestly it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, it's at Corey.Sildania. Please click that like button if you enjoyed this video. Please click that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on my next tutorial. Peace. I used to be so happy, but without you here, I feel so low. I want you as you left, but I can never seem to let you go. Cause once upon a time you were my everything It's clear to see that time hasn't changed a thing It's buried deep inside me but I feel there's something you should know mm -hmm.